Hey guys, Shane here with eTrower.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the flow drain down system by Lipper Components. For those of you that have boats or RVs or campers, for those of you that don't that are looking into it, taking your camper to winterize it or winterizing it yourself can be a pain. Or taking it somewhere and having somebody pay or paying someone to winterize it uh, can cost you a lot of money every year. This system is going to eliminate the need for having to use antifreeze to winterize your camper or to take it somewhere to have somebody or to pay somebody to do it. It's the unit's gonna mount inside the camper or the RV or your boat. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna build up air pressure inside your water lines to blow out any stagnant water that may be standing in there. Now you're probably asking why, why do I need this system? Uh, let me put it in the perspective like this. This is not just for winterizing. Let's say we have our camper parked at a lot and we're not gonna use it for a week. We don't necessarily have to winterize it because it's not getting cold. But if you have a low spot in your line, water's gonna sit in there. After 24 hours, that water goes stagnant. Technically, it's bad water. It's not any good anymore. It will start to build algae or start to grow algae on the inside of your line. You come back the next week, you run fresh water through there, you might get the stagnant water out, but now you're pulling that algae off your lines through that fresh water. So not only are you drinking it, putting it in your coffee, but you're also taking a shower in it. With this system, this is gonna blow all of that water out so we don't have that stagnant water sitting in those low spots. We don't have algae building on the inside of our lines. Uh, the compressor is a little loud. It'll take about 30, 30 to 45 seconds for it to build up pressure in the line. It's gonna build up about 15, 15 PSI. Once it builds up pressure, it's gonna shut off. You're gonna turn on one valve. You can start with hot or cold, it doesn't matter where you are. It's gonna push fluid out. You're gonna turn it off. Builds pressure up, turn the hot on. Once it builds pressure back up, we can go inside and we can do it to our kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and our shower. Any other drains that you have uh, fresh water running through, you wanna make sure you get all those blown out. Once you do one, you wait for the pressure to build back up. And then you do the other. Then you just repeat that process for all of your water outlets in the camper. Keep in mind, you only do want to go through the system one time and you want to let the compressor sit for at least 30 minutes before you do a second time if you need to. Once you're done with the inside, you're going to come to the outside and you want your two lines that are going out to drain your tank. You want to make sure you drain those. Once you're done, you want to make sure you shut the unit off. Turn one valve on. It doesn't matter which one it is, and all that's doing is releasing air pressure inside the lines. Once you've got all that, you're ready to go. Now your campers, RVs, and boats uh, have a maximum rating of 20 PSI throughout your lines. This system is only going to build up to 15 PSI. So we know we're going to be safe. We're not going to have to worry about our lines getting damaged by this setup. Now let me compare this to other ways uh, that some people have done it, including my family. Uh, sometimes they'll take just an airline hose coming from coming off of a compressor and they'll run air pressure in there. Keep in mind, if you do that, you have to have one of the water outlets like the kitchen sink, you have to have it open. 
because most of those compressors are gonna put way too much air pressure inside that line and can cause you a whole lot of damage. Two, you have to go in and out. So once you open it, you run air pressure in there, you come out, shut it off, go back in, open the next one, do it. You gotta go back and forth unless you have two people. With this system, we know we're not gonna have too much pressure going into our lines. We can do it by ourselves. This same system is also available in a 110 version. Now, a lot of our newer campers, this is an 05, a lot of our newer ones will have a storage unit like this in the front that may have an outlet plug, like your household plug, in it. The unit comes with a factory plug on it, so all you do is you just plug it into that factory outlet or to that uh, 110 or 120 volt outlet and it's very easy. We don't have like this one where you have to find a 12 volt power source. The upside of that is we're out camping, we turn it on, we run through our system once, turn it off, sit down, have a drink, beer, soda, coffee, whatever it is, let the system cool down for a minute, run back through it again. It is not a hard thing to do just to flip it on and run through the system and drain it all down. That's gonna do it for a look at the flow drain down system by Lipper Components.